Hi guys, and welcome to How to Sell Prints Online with me, Kate. This is my first video, and in the next few weeks, I'll be talking about various aspects of selling prints online. In this first video, I want to talk to you about paper. The paper you choose for your print is important, and it re reflects the quality of print you're aiming for. There's a vast range of different paper types you can choose from, starting with box standard printer paper, which I don't recommend, to high quality archival papers. If you're not sure where to begin, then a great place to start is to contact a paper supplier or a printer. A lot of paper suppliers and printers sell very inexpensive sample packs of the different papers that they supply or print on. Or alternatively, you can visit them and they will be able to advise you. This is a great way to be able to compare different papers and check out what the printed result is likely to look like. Here are some of my sample packs that I have received from my various suppliers. You can see that these start from smooth poster papers such as this one. They're great on printing digital designs on or photos. To more textured archival papers such as this one or these Hahnmuller papers. I personally use fine art archival papers to print my watercolours on and my acrylic paintings and use the smoother papers mainly for my digital designs and I personally love the Hahnmuller photo rag. This is because I find that fine art papers have a bit of tooth to them, much like watercolour paper, so they give my prints a little bit of texture. However, these archival thicker papers tend to be quite expensive, so you have to work that into the price of your prints you are selling. Also, something else to note is that some of these papers have a little bit of a creamy tint, so it's just something you need to be aware of. Here are a couple of my prints. Hopefully you can see the difference. This one is printed on Heimmuller photo rags, so it's nice and thick and feels a lot like watercolour paper. And this one is on matte photo paper and is a digital design. And it's still lovely and thick, but it's nice and smooth and gives a really great finish. The paper you can print on can have a gloss finish, a satin finish or a matte finish. I personally prefer a matte finish as I don't like the shine, but that's a purely personal preference. So it's completely up to you and what you prefer. Another thing to consider when choosing paper is whether it is acid free. The lignin, which is found in normal printer paper, deteriorates over time and it causes the paper to become acidic and break down this means that the paper will age and discolour. If you want your prints to last many years, then you need to print your prints on acid-free paper. Fine art archival papers tend to be acid-free. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If there's anything I, I haven't covered, please ask below. Let me know if there's a specific topic you would like me to cover in these mini tutorials in the future, and I will try and cover it. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you'd like to hear more from me, then please like the video and subscribe.